RDL, AKA the Romanian deadlift. Y'all, this is an awesome exercise to strengthen basically the whole posterior chain. The low back, the butt, and the hamstring. This is a move we do need to be careful on. If you've never done it before, you can start with a broomstick, a PVC pipe, or even just the empty barbell or a light pair of dumbbells. Great way to strengthen the backside. Do be careful on these. I like anywhere three to four sets, eight to 12 reps. Y'all, if you're looking to build a big old dump truck, this is your move. Check it out. When you set up the bar, you want to address the bar. Hello, bar. With the part, make sure you're right in the middle of the barbell. And when you look down, the barbell should be like right over your shoelaces. And then you're gonna grab just to the outside of your legs on the barbell. Even on that very first rep, don't just bend down there all willy-nilly. We're gonna break at the hips. So shoot your hips to the back of the room. You're set up with the feet. When you look down, you want the bar a few inches from your shins. Back is flat. The bar is like right over the middle of your shoelaces. When you grab the bar for the first rep, slight bend in the knees. We're gonna dig the feet into the ground, squeeze the butt, squeeze your rear at the top of each rep. And think about keeping that bar real close to your legs, tracing the legs on the way down. Touch the ground, you should feel a good stretch in the hamstrings. Dig those feet in, squeeze the rear. And y'all, you're always shooting the hips back like you're a hinge. Dig the feet in, squeeze the rear. What we want to avoid is this business, y'all. That's a recipe for disaster on the back. If you ever feel like you're getting in that position, I want you to put the bar down, stand up, slide bend in those knees, put a hand on the belly, hand on the back, and you just shoot your hips back. Think about closing a car door with your butt, all right? So we grab that bar, back is flat, take the feet in, squeeze the rear, and y'all, you feel a big stretch in your hamstring. You feel that stretch in your hamstring, that means you're doing something right. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share it with your gym partner, y'all. I appreciate you. If you got any questions, drop them in the comments. Thanks, y'all.